What's up, y'all? It's your girl, La Java, and I'm back at it again with another video. Hey, guys. Welcome back to my channel. I don't like these boys. I just playing like piano. What's up, you all? I hit 73K, so let's clap it up. I just want to say hey to all my new subscribers. What's up? You know, subscribe. You was a part of the squad. So comment down below, ATW squad, because you was a part of the squad now that you subscribe. Make sure you press the notification bell and comment down below for a notification shout out. Y'all, I just wanted to let y'all know, I get so many comments for like post notification shout outs. Everybody want a shout out, this, that, and the other. But the app I use only generate like 10 to 15 shout outs every video. So with that being said, it's literally impossible for me to give everybody that comment for a shout out, them a shout out in a video. It's like literally impossible. But if you stay active on my channel, just period, like active on my channel, actually have your post notifications on and you know, subscribe to my channel, give me thumbs up and comments and all that stuff. It will eventually generate your channel maybe in the future so you know just stay up on that and you'll get you a shout out but i did shout out a little different this time i went through my comment section and i actually hand picked some people and put it in the shout outs and they also have their post notification bell on so yeah and stay tuned to the end of the video because you'll be able to see their actual channels and the shout outs so stay tuned to that because you might be in a shout out you just don't know you know stay tuned for that video right okay. enough of the yappity 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 it's time to get into this video today video i will be doing back to school do's and don'ts also i did a freshman advice video last year with my god sister and my cousin that video will be linked down below or in cards you can press the i button and you'll be able to see that video because honey that video was so popping you feel me a lot of people agree with our advice and took our advice and had a bomb school year so make sure you press that video but today like i said it's gonna be back to school do's and baby back to school don'ts all right, y'all, so I have all of the stuff written down on the handy-dandy iPad. Well, it's not written down. It's typed in. Y'all know what I mean. So I'm going to start with the do's. We're going to do positive. You know, we're positive over here on this channel. I'm going to start with the do. What you should do. All right, let's just start off with showing up to open house. A lot of people, like, find this unnecessary or after, like, literally elementary school, maybe middle school, high schoolers do not come to open house, and I do not know why. Y'all, when I tell y'all open house is so essential to, like, having a great school year, you need to make sure your schedule is right. You need to make sure you see your teachers because, honestly, you can see a teacher, and if you don't think you're going to like them, baby, change your schedule. You know, change it up. Make sure you have you a bomb school year. They also tell you things you need for their exact classes because you could sometimes go on the school website or even in Walmart, they have back to school lists and it will have buku stuff, y'all. When I tell you, they be having all this random stuff. You'll go to open house, they'll be like, you need this, that, and the other. Compared to another school list that's just like a generic, you'll just be really saving a lot of money, saving a lot of time and effort, all of that. When you could just go to open house, even as high schooler, and just simply ask the teacher what you need. And they usually have it written down on the whiteboard, blackboard, whatever, so you know exactly what you need. So yes, come to open house. That is definitely a do, do, do. Oh, I said do, do. Yeah, that's definitely a do, okay? I'm telling you, that's definitely something that y'all should do, because I... Baby, I'm going to be a senior this year, and I and I must say, I've been to every open house from, I'm not going to say my elementary school, but from my elementary school, from my middle school, from high school, I have not missed the open house. I might have showed up late once in a while, you know, one year, but I was still there, and that's all that really matters. Make sure you show up, show your face, and that's great right there. Another do is come to class on time, y'all, 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 y'all. This is mostly for the high schoolers. Because some of them drive, actually, and will come late. I know you want to get your Chick-fil-A, McDonald's in the morning, whatever, whatever. Girl, come to school on time. Come to school on time. Because, like, you just want to be there on time. Although, usually the first week of school, tardies are not counted. Because they know you got to find your classes. Still don't be tardy for the party, y'all. Just come to school on time um, i know like folks like to stand in the hallway post it up on the wall and you know like talk and whatever y'all could talk 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 but when that bell ring y'all need to be in class okay i'm just letting y'all know period another do is personally greet your teacher a lot of students just definitely just don't do this like you will come into the class you will greet the you will greet your friends and the students before you greet your teacher. Always greet your teacher. Hey, how are you? How are you doing? Y'all need to have a full conversation. Hey, how are you? I'm here. 
hello let them let it be known like i've always i can never say i've never not greeted a teacher when i came in their classroom i always do that i mean it's their freaking classroom greet the teacher i always come in hey how are you hey how was your day if you are the first person in their class like if it's the first period be like hey how are you you don't even gotta be like how was your day hey how are you or if you come to their class after lunch how was your lunch you know like just like the little stuff really mean the most because we seem to forget that teachers are also humans like us they got feelings like we do you know so you really need to respect them because like i said they're just like us greet your teachers and be respectful to them at all times another do is stay up on your work do the syllabus okay like teachers give out mass syllabus they could give out like one or two little you know little trial assignments that really don't count if you don't bring it but if you bring it you get a hundred type stuff y'all know what i'm saying do the syllabus because they be giving out syllabus do the syllabus it'd be the simplest thing have your mama and have you sign you know and if your mama not home she at work have your daddy sign girl go to the neighbor have your neighbor sign you can really just do anything just make sure you turn in them little a syllabus um i said a syllabus turn in them syllabus and um stay up on your work needless to say stay up on your work especially if you're not doing no extracurriculum activities if you don't have a job what are you doing stay up on your work make sure you have your work done and all of that good stuff make sure your work is done because teachers really take notice to that stuff even if you score low on your work but you always do your work your work is always turned in on time you put forth the effort the teacher will also you know in return sometimes help you you know if you have that type of teacher but you know you could get like a rule teacher you know how they be but we gonna pray this year ain't nobody getting no rule teachers ain't nobody on my channel gonna get no rule teachers okay we're gonna pray and we're going to hope for the best okay period all right y'all moving on to don'ts these are don'ts and i can't stress this enough don'ts do not do this like don't do this don't do this no no first don't is stay up all night before the first day of school or before school period do not stay up all night like i know like coming from summer going to school it's an adjustment understandable we're going from staying up to two seven pulling all nighters you feel me we staying up doing what we want to like literally having to wake up at six seven in the morning to go to school it's like what like i understand it. but please try to get some sleep do not stay up all night because you're gonna be sleep at school ready to go and your day gonna be boo boo okay you're not gonna have a good day if you're tired at school and that's just period on period trust me you're not gonna have a good day if you stay up all night at school and i know this for a fact so please don't do that period all right, the next thing is don't tell people your business, baby. Like, don't tell people your business, and that's period point blank. Like, I don't tell people my business, baby, and that's just period. Nobody know nothing for real, for real about me. Like, like no, no, man. Like, let them assume incorrectly. You don't have to fill in the blanks for everything. Tell people your business. Like, I promise you, I don't tell people my business. Honestly, I don't even tell no one my business. I keep my business up here, okay? Keep it all up here in the noggin. Feel me? I got a big head, so I can store a lot of stuff, okay? I don't tell people my business. Period. Period. So, yeah, please don't tell people your business. Because, like, that's that right there is just... People have one-up on you when they know stuff about you. Like, have one-up on everybody. Let them not know stuff about you. Don't be doing stuff. And you cool. Like, you gonna always have one-up. Nobody could try you on no type of foolery. Because, baby, they don't know anything about you to try you. So, keep it at that right another don't is don't get caught up in the mix like y'all don't get caught up in a mix don't get caught up in a mix like let's say a is talking about b let a and b squash that out. let them talk let them do what they do they talking to mess. you ain't gotta jump into the conversation and girl yeah let me tell you what i heard no like that's another thing. Don't tell your business and don't tell other people business because half the time you don't even know what's going on in their life. You just talking because you want to talk. Like, shut up. Stay out the mix. Don't say nothing to these folks. Like, don't try to just go up in the mix and you don't even know the flavor. You feel me? Stay out the mix. Stay out the mix. That's what I do. I stay out the mix. And you won't ever catch me, like, sitting up just full-blown talking about people. Like, for what? Like, would you like it if someone just talking about you? No. Okay, then. Stop talking about people. Like, stay out the mix. Period. All right, my last don't for you guys is don't try to fit in. 
And I know for some people this can be hard because that's just what they're accustomed to and that's just what they've always done, tried to fit in. I've always been an outsider and I and I can actually say that I've always been an outsider. I've always been the one that just was different between everybody. I was like the different one in the group. Like everyone could want to do this and I want to do something else instead of being like, like okay i'll do this with y'all like no i'm finna do this today this is what i want to do i've always like not fit in and the thing is i could never try to fit in because i was just so different from everybody you know like life is too short to just sit and be normal life is too short for you to just try to be like everybody else because the people that is different and try other stuff and try to follow their dreams and do what they want to do are like the most successful people ever because they're not trying to fit in i'm not saying like just be all out there but if that's your personality go for it but like that's not my personality y'all i'm just not one to fit in not one to agree with everything people doing and like want to be in the mix so yeah so you know just be true to yourself be who you are you feel me baby i'm little jabba and i i am happy to be who i am you know and that's just that just stay true to yourself and you will find that being true to yourself, you're way happier and you're just going to have a better school. So, yeah, that is all for my back to school duels and my back to school don't. So, I, hopefully this video is going to help you guys out and you really enjoyed this video. I really hope you enjoyed this video. You know, I so hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure y'all check out my freshman advice video because, y'all, when I tell you that was a banger. So, yeah, make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Make sure you share this video. Now it's time for post notifications. Shout out! All right, hopefully you was in the post notification shout out. Comment down below if you was. But that's the end of this video. Adios, amigos.